Breakfast with Laurie Dixon on ABC Mid North Coast. Improving mental health and services for defence veterans and their families has been in the spotlight recently, but there's one group in the Mid-North Coast who have been a vital pillar of support for people in our community, and today they're marking a very big milestone. Sarah Hartley is the National Programs Director of Social Connections at Soldier On and joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Sarah, what is the role of Soldier On in our community? So Soldier On supports veterans and their family members to thrive and we do that through um, a number of our programs. Um, So we have health and wellbeing, which is like our psychology services. Um, We have employment and learning, um, helping veterans and their families to find meaningful employment. And then we have our social connections team, which is um, the team that I look after. And we're all about providing activities and programs that um, uh, enable veterans to get out and experience a, a new activity and and have a really great time and connect with other veterans. Mm. Soldier On in Port Macquarie is celebrating their fifth anniversary, which is wonderful. How Mm. big has that organisation grown over the last five years? Oh, over the last five years, it, honestly, they're continually growing. So I've been with Soldier on um, not even two years, and, and in that mm. short space of time, um, we have expanded our programs um, to other regional areas such as Port Macquarie. But yeah, they um, are able to provide, you know, I think it's about 10 activities a month in the region, which is fantastic for regional veterans. Mm. So um, it's, yeah, we have over, I think, 6,000 participants nationwide now. So it's yeah, every week um, we are getting new veterans signing up to our program so it's it's fantastic yeah wow what challenges Mm. do veterans and their families face in regional areas like the mid-north coast I think it's uh, if they're moving into um, that region, you know, they're, they're so used to having those support networks um, already established and moving into a regional area, that can mm. be quite daunting for a veteran and their family member um, to find those, that their tribe, I guess, the people that they connect with. And, and Soldron enables them to find that quite easily. Um, we find a number of veterans might come along to a coffee catch-up um, and then uh, you know make some new friends and, and find that community and tribe and um, um, their connection again, which you know, is that's what we want to make sure that they've they've got those people that they can lean on and and share for their supports, but also navigating the the support services, other support services in their area, and that's not just soldier on, like finding those connections that um, might help them with housing and and that sort of thing as well, which mm. is yeah, really important. We know that the Royal Commission into Defence and Veteran Suicide handed down its uh, interim report last month. Mm. It had 13 recommendations and I think more is expected to come out of that. Yeah. What were the main issues or areas of concern that Soldier On took away from this report? Uh, there's definitely a number of different things I think we've realised, but there's the, the, probably the standout one um, f- for us, particularly in social connections, is that family support mm. um, and making sure that they have um, that connection to those organisations that can provide them that support as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of things that are, that are coming out from that report that we will, um, you know, take a lot away from and make sure that our services are meeting those needs and supporting those veterans. What more, I guess you may have already touched on it, but what more do you think needs to be done to better support veterans and their families in regional areas? Mm, that's a really big question. <laughs> um, I, it, It's a hard one. I think um, a lot of the services we provide are, are, are definitely meeting that need, but I guess it's that you know, maybe um, transparency and um, ensuring that that the whole um, family knows of those support services. I think sometimes they might get missed and and, and unaware of those um, supports that are out there that can help them. Um, So I think that that, that's really needed and and really important for them to be able to get that. How that is, I I don't have the answer Mm. for you, Um, but I think we're a lot in the ex-service community organisation world are, are looking into that and Ensuring that we're um, yeah able to make sure that that word is getting out there and and you know allowing you know letting people know that we're here to support them when they need it. Mm. Sarah Soldier On as an organisation, you're celebrating your 10 year anniversary this year. How can people get involved in Soldier On? 
The easiest way to get involved with Soldier On is to head to the website. So we have a, um, a registration form that veterans and their family members can sign up to our services. And it really doesn't matter where you are in Australia. Um, it, you know, we have services that we can help you with. But that's your first point of call. And then once you've filled in that form, we'll reach out to you and get you linked in with all our other services that um, Soldier On provides and, and make sure that you are getting that support that you need. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on Breakfast this morning. Thank you so much for having me. That was Sarah Hartley, the National Programs Director of Social Connections at Soldier On. If you need